Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 921. This is Madam Web. Madam Web. This is a 2024 movie directed by S.J. Crockson. It is based on the Marvel Thomas Cable 2 of the same name. Um, this is from Sony Pictures, Chromia Pictures, and Marvel Studios, with the Chromia Pictures logo being the first movie having the 100 years logo as this is Columbia Pictures' 100th anniversary. And the logo is pretty neat. I definitely enjoyed the logo. So I saw this movie on February 17, 2024 at AMC Grove City 14 in Grove City, Ohio. Another AMC movie video, which I enjoyed going to. That was the first time I went to that movie video. And I hope to go there again someday. So, Madam Web, I thought it was pretty good. I'm hearing not so great reviews about it, but I enjoyed it. So, this is about Cassandra Webb, who is a New York City paramedic who starts to show signs of clairvoyance after a near death experience. Forced to confront revelations about her past, she must protect three young women from a mysterious adversary who wants them all dead. Uh oh. So, Concentra Webb slash Madam Webb is played by Dakota Johnson in the film, who is a paramedic in Manhattan who is trying to figure out what her purpose is, purpose is in life, along with trying to save people. She's also trying to figure out clues from her past because her mom was in the Amazon looking for spiders and then something happened to her right when Cassie was born. And Cassie's trying to figure out what happened. Well, after, tr after saving somebody one day, Cassie did suck into, well not suck, but she just trapped into one of the cars that she's trying to save someone into, and it drowns into the ocean. And then there's like a near death experience that Cassie faces, and then she is like brought back to life. And after that, she is so starting to show signs of clairvoyance, and she is starting to see things into the future, and she isn't sure why. However, that who she also starts to see futures of other people regarding their deaths and other things that might happen. And one day, while on the train, she sees a vision with this man who is known as Arrestory Sims murders three young women. So Cassie gets these three women to safety from this man who wants them dead because supposedly, I won't want to dis discuss much, but these three women are in their teenage years, but eventually they will grow up to be superheroes that will eventually stop Arrestee Sims from doing whatever he wants to do. And Arrestee Sims wants to change this future. So he decides to try and find these three women and kill them. But when Cassie sees this future, she must protect these three young women at all costs, while trying to figure out not only how to control these visions, but also she's trying to explore what happened to her mother. I know a lot of people hated this movie, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, it is the fourth movie in Sony's Spider-Man universe, Besides Venom 1, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, and Morbius. Supposedly, even though I enjoyed both Morbius and Man and Web and one with Venom 1 and 2, people are saying the Morbius was better. Hmm. But I thought both of them were good. So, along with Dakota Johnson as Cassie Webb, we also see Sydney Sweeney as Julia Cornwall, who becomes a future Spider Woman. Isabella Mosset portrays Ina Corazon, 
who also portrays another Spider Woman in the future, and Caresti O'Connor portrays Manny Franklin, who also is a future Spider Woman in the future. These are the three teenage girls that Arrest Sims once dead. And he is played by Tamar Rahim. T A H A R R A H I M. And let's just say that Arrest Sims knew Cassie's mother when Cassie was in the Amazon rainforest when she was looking for spiders. And so. We see other actors and actresses in it, like Emma Roberts as Mary Parker. Yes, the Mary Parker who happens to be Peter Parker's mother. Adam Scott as Ben Parker, who is Cassie's paramedic partner. And you guys know Ben Parker becomes the future uncle of Peter Parker. Harry Bersich is Constance Webb, who is Cassie's mother. And there are other actors and actresses in it. So, I don't want to discuss what happens, but I like how Cassie is trying to protect these three women, but at the same time, she's trying to figure out what to do with herself to protect them. And also, She's trying to understand why Oresti Sims wants these three women dead because she doesn't know at first that these three girls will eventually become spider women who take down Sims in the future. So Cassie must figure out what to do before Sims kills them all. Now, I will say that the film does take place in 2003, so you did to see a little bit of the Porter family, well, only two members, anyway. And since the this the Madame Web is in the, is in the spy is in the Sony universe that is aging, adjunct or adjunct to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's pretty interesting to see that in Spider-Man 1 Homecoming in 2017, Peter Parker is 15 years old, and okay, maybe I shouldn't do too much further than that. But let's just say that there might be a reference to Peter Parker and Madame Webb, but not what you might think. But yeah, I thought Man and Web was pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what the future holds because the film isn't exactly doing well at the box office. But there are still Craven the Hunter and Phantom 3 coming way out this year. So it will be interesting to see how both films performed. But Man and Web, I thought was pretty good. I know a lot of people probably disagree with me, but that's okay. But... It's pretty good. So that's my movie review of Madam Web. Please enjoy my next movie review. Alright, goodbye. Hey guys. I'm going to see Madam Web today. And this is the very first movie to use the 100 years world over Columbia Pictures. It is also in association with Marvel. I know there will be several other Columbia Pictures films this year that will be released, but this is the first one that used the 100 years world, or as this is Columbia Pictures' 100th year. Pretty cool.